And we shall press on soon enough, you good women, you. So anyway, hey folks, and welcome back to some more Utawa Rerumono Mask of Truth. On our last episode, we had tried to capture Maro, but to no avail as he had managed to escape. Much to our dismay. But after all that though, Haku and Ko had devised a plan to disrupt Raiko's communication line for the time being. So with that wee tidbit in mind, let us continue. Henceforth. Nosery leads the group as we carefully, stealthily approach the distant tower. We can't let the enemy spot us, but if we move too slowly and take too much time, we'll miss our window. This isn't going to be an easy task. When is anything easy when it involves Raiko, though? Nekole. Oh, she's soldiering on that wee munchkin. Oh, hopefully she doesn't peter out too soon, huh? But she's acting as though it's nothing, but I can tell she's having a rough time. She's going to tire out sooner than later. <laughs> われらの存在を蹴取られる可能性が高くなる。それに遅れてしまえばキールタイとの連携が取れなくなる。それだけは避けねばならん。オスタレ。Come as she looks at me. Oh yeah. How are, how's the twins he holding up? Huh? Ah. I look to check on Sorana. <laughs> ah, the separation anxiety is laying on thick, huh? I've never seen her so scared. Ururu to hanare banare ni natta koto ga, masaka koko made fuan ni sasaru to wa. I mean, they've been together since birth, right? So, it would be likened that this is a very differing experience for them. They would not be used to it, much less know of a world without each other, right? Yeah, so this must be taking quite the toll. Even on Ruru, right? Home of which we don't see right now. Maybe less so, or maybe she's just putting on a strong front. しかも敵に蹴取られないようその時まで互いに通じ合うことも制限しているサラーナにとってこんなことは初めてなのだろう何があっても動じることのなかったサラーナがまるで怯えるように震えている今回の作の要となるのが目標を狙撃するキュールとノスリそしてウルールとサラーナだいや、them yeah. actually delivering on their performance is pivotal to our success. これはまずいか。Uh, I don't think holding up is really the thing that they're doing quite well so far. More like falling apart, if anything. No, Yes, 
どうするこちらから何か言うのは逆効果に思えるかえって萎縮し状況が悪化しかねん Well, but I mean, treading on eggshells is sometimes what you may end up doing because you know what? Try to tread around them right now ain't really good to benefit nobody, right? Hey! Or you could just be Fumaro and be up front with a nice wee hug. <laughs> Bosom and all, I presume. Fumirul unprompted abruptly turns and embraces Serana tightly. She holds the Kaminagi's face close to her bosom, oh my, patting her on the head like she's comforting a distraught child. Although, in a sense, It's kind of refreshing seeing Serana a bit more demure, right? Rather than, like, obviously, yeah, they're both normally fairly monotone and confident in their own, right? And that's fair enough, but just seeing them so demure just shows a different facet of their character, right? Like, this not only works as a pivotal plot point for furthering the plot because we they're integral to our plans, but they have to be separate, it also doubles as, like, Something for us to just see them in a moment of weakness that we're not really used to seeing them in. And I really like that. I, I love it when storytelling finds an excuse to like double dip like this. Plus, I'm eating good on the Fumirul content because while she was. A part of the gang later rather than sooner, right? It's kind of nice seeing her being in her element in a sense, right? Actually, like, while she's normally seen as this, like, innocent and disarming individual, she's probably just, like, very caring in her own, right? Right? Even if she has, like, the code of, like, vanilla ice cream, sometimes all you need is a little bit of vanilla scoops to go with your group, right? Can't have ice cream without it, right? <laughs> I mean, you can, there's other flavors, but it serves as a good base. Yeah, you're putting on your own wee front right now, huh? Despite her words and tone, Fimuril continues to hold Serana close, patting her head. And in spite of it being like this fairly late, right, with like Fimuril and by extension the twins, right, like this late into like the game, right? I mean, I don't know how much more we've got left. I'm just talking about like. And relatively speaking, of uh, Mask of Deception as well, they still find a way to like further develop a character, and I really enjoy that. Like my only complaint so far in terms of like a playable character so far would have been really Etak. May maybe there will be more to do with him though, so I'm not gonna be like too critical for now. He's just not like particularly my type of character. On a first impression basis. Maybe you'll have more layering as we go on though. Because I mean, they randomly pulled out this, right? Well, I say randomly. Obviously, it was written as such. I'm just talking about like, it surprised me. Th that's the better phrasing. It subverted expectations. Which, I do enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> Although, to be fair, it's a bit hard to say subverted my expectations when both titles have honestly, like, masterfully so far told their tales, right? Like, they go into details that some, and I wouldn't even say some, a good chunk of visual novel media that I've read don't really go into. They would normally just kind of, like, glide through it, right? Obviously, there are still quite a few that explore varying facets and all that. That's not me undermine them. I'm just talking about from, like, the batch that I've experienced. Not all of them went to this level of detail, right? 
Because not only do you get all of this, you also get to play it, right? Which also just helps. Because, like, the store, the gameplay serves as a medium to help, like, the visualization of, like, the war effort, right? And I know that's kind of in a sense of what happened with the original Utawara Ramono, but, like, obviously this is much more ambitious because they have more budget now. So that's why I'm actually quite excited for prequel, because that's essentially, like, a remastered version, right? So I'm actually curious what that's going to entail. Like, obviously it's going to probably have the same story beats, right, as the original. So it'll serve as a nostalgia trip for me. But I digress. Else I'm going to keep rambling on because, oh, I'm just gushy-washy about this game, okay? Then, as though nothing had happened at all, Serana's voice returns to his usual monotone. Sides, there'll be plenty more moments for me to gush regardless. Especially when we reach the end of the road, right? I mean, Krevitz, remember the act we see? And I was just... I was awestruck of how that was handled. Like, gosh dang. That's not to speak lightly of the varying other scenes, though. Like, the Nekane scenes, the Anju scenes, especially the encounter with Anju and Kuon initially, right? Oh. Hi. As Serana continues to walk behind me, I can just barely detect her mumbling voice. I mean, even the whole, like, feud between Maruro and Oshtor, more so a one-sided one being with Maruro, I've actually really enjoyed that dynamic. I, I just feel like as if I got a bit blue-balled, essentially, though, with him dipping on out. <laughs> Let's just be thinking about it, like, retrospectively, of course. But yeah. Let's see how Aruru is holding up, though, right? Will we? Oh, yeah, we'll get to the other side! Sarana. Nice! Hello there, Aruru! And this wee motley crew as well! Kiru, hearing Aruru's muttering, glances over his shoulder. Achirakara. Okay, so Aruru seems to be holding up fairly to it, sweet, right? Oh my. Wait, that's such a rare sight, though, right? Like, relatively speaking, for most other individuals to see. It's only really Ostor that gets to see it, in a sense. I mean, Haku. Listen, Minechka, cutie pie, okay? Listen, the Imperial Munchkin just wants to see more people with smiles on their faces. Let her have this. You are not the Tori of Kuchinista, okay? Yeah, and taxis! <laughs> now smile as you're writing your taxis. We'll become a smile hive mind. It shall spread and fester throughout the lands as we continue to diligently write the text. I don't know why. Is, oh. No, but in seriousness, though, I actually do like this scene as well. Uru ships her scene as if deep in thought. Sorry, shifts her gaze as if in deep in thought. 
Wait, please, give us a wee cheeky ha 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 Like one of those really cute monotone laughters. No! Where is it? Here go. Dang it! Or maybe it's just more one of those things that they can't really force, right? Like it just doesn't come out as easily. That's the fun part, you don't. At Yakwalt's signal, the group comes to a halt. He indicates the tower in the middle distance, visible more clearly now, but still too far for a mundane archer to reach with any accuracy. Oh, you see, Kiru and Nosri are far from mundane. Kiru, do you know? Wait. At Munechka's prompting, Kiru licks his finger and briefly tests the wind, squinting in fall. Yeah! Especially from, like, the very... I guess, what's the word I'm looking for? No, it's not finicky. Kira was one to very much underplay themselves, really undersell themselves in like a whole variety of scenarios. Yeah. I mean that you do, but you've come a long way, bud. At that, everyone nods. そろそろサラーナさんから知らせがあるかもしれません。準備をしておいてもらえますか。承知。商戦がウルールドの守備につきますゆえ。よろしくお願いします。後ろ盾は任せてもらおうじゃない。それなら、うちが全員やね。腕
まあ貴重な経験だ覚えておきたまえこれが正気の匂いだよはっ委託君ここは君に任せよう私は少数の手勢を率い敵の中央に奇襲をかけるし,しかし本陣からは現状を維持せよとの命令しか来ておりませんそうまさにその事実が気にかかるのだよそれはどういう我らが総大将殿はただ万全と現状維持を選ぶような男ではない彼は状況を動かしていく中で最善の手を模索する将軍それは理解しているつもりです那国でも何度も驚かされておりました発注将としての勘が告げているようやくオシュトル殿が動き始めたのだと敵を騙すのはまず味方からということですか I guess in that sense, right, that makes, well, a lot of sense because if our allies poised themselves to enable us, then Raikou would just soon catch on, right? So just le it just leaves Raikou guessing, essentially. Saku will roll through to you, no, so you could have. Hmm. Since you are poached, she can't hear you, you are your equal. さすがに彼は木を見るのがうまいなならば私は私の役割をこなすまでさ戦場で静まり返るのは策を隠していると喧伝するようなものだこういう時はさも大げさに騒がなくてはなさあこの軍列を整えよう我ら敵陣右翼を食い破る Taking the vanguard, much like your daughter, huh? Like father, like daughter, I guess they say in this scenario. So, Yan Kikuri Sanga, the key we look to call Senjo Tiny Hari Master. Such to Kuritaka, you can see me now. これより狙撃の準備に入る注意警戒最新の注意を払え。よしここからなら物見やぐらの上が問題なく死人にできるここが正念場だ時間が経てば経つほどこちらの意図を相手に悟られる可能性も高くなる I like the little detail that Nozri is just really making sure she lights this up in her own way. Nozri. Uh, there's a little distance. I'm going to read a little bit. 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 動かない的を射抜くことなど造作もない Yeah, we're talking to the goodest of women それでこそだサラーナ、キュールの方はどうだお待ちください<笑>ウルールはまだと言っていますもうすぐ到着するそうですそうかこの策が読まれていないにしろ状況が不利なのは変わらない何らかの致命的な一手を打たれる前にことを終えねばそう気をもむなオシトルノスリーこの作戦案外大した問題もなくうまくいくかもしれないぞ何せ私が一族を率いて戦う初めての大戦なのだからな。よぴょ
いやそれは理由になっていない気が Well, think about it. Rosary really has to make a showing of it. Really impress the folks at home. Or, I guess, in the sense that are on the battlefield, but you don't want the folks that will eventually be back home. Muro, Jordan, da. Daga, Kudaranai Ryu demo. Atsmere ba jishin no tashi ni nare. Ki o tsukawase de shimatta yo da na. <laughs> とはいえ私が長として算ずるのは紛れもない事実そして勝利の美酒とはいい女が振る舞うものだノーズリー・ロイドーズは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、I love it. Ta, he does take out a wagger to see Oka. Hm, do you know what a smoke, Mada Mada Stetamono de Wanaina? Pono Tedo Naraba. ケチらすのは造作もないしかしこうも数が多いのはさすがにへきへきするのねし敵味方問わずとは随分と高く買われたものだ<音声>しかし足を止められてしまったな。あのまま駆け抜けるべきだったかいやはや他の戦は難しいふん<笑>大立ち一つで前線に出てくるとはまだ癖は治っていないようだね Hey they've still got fat left in to them 行かせてめえとてショーのくせに前線まで出張ってるだろうな。なに、少し昔の血が騒いだのだよ。何分、懐かしい匂いがしたものでね。とうとう、これこそがまさに戦場の空気よ。そりゃあいい。おいじゃが油断しそんな、そやんけくるだな。Outright blazing through a path of glory, this one. Go to Muni, Jibun Lord, the Congress of New York. So, any Gorino Eva, go say the Honga Ekaro. Do Yara, Mina Kangai, go to Onajino Yoda, eh? She got it. Yo, Rolly with the bat or in the midst of all this, though, it's great. Kuchira no Yomi Dori Naraba, Soro Soro Kaimak to it. Raiko's smile deepens as he calmly sits in his main forces encampment. Behind him, Shichiria continues to report in an emotionless voice. Raiko sama, yahari tekijin ni oshitoru sama no sugata wa nai yo desu. Kuchira no fuse fuda ni kizukare ta yo da. Da ga sou de na kereba, waza waza kono fujin ni shita imi ga na. Uyoku ni hachu shou ga totsugeki shite kita to no jouhou mo arimasu ga. Raiko's brow twitches involuntarily at Shichiria's rapport. 
あれらは確かに戦場の流れを変えうる結物ではある奴らの策その本命は別にあるまさかオシトル様が発注書をお取りになんと大胆な故に奴らに構う必要はないこの戦の勝敗を決するに砕くべきは別の器だならば敵の本命はこちらの情報を統括する矢倉を狙っているのだ読まれているとも知らずにも Really is no feeling this man. What? Huh? Holy moly. I said it once before. This guy's tac tactical acumen is for the rip. He knows it. He already knows it. You don't see no this guy. So then he could have a kid there. Ima Kono Orega Mochuru Nakade. Motomo Kyoretsna Ichimaimon. そこでオシトルさえ打ち取ってしまえばあとは個々のつながりの薄い無造無造に過ぎん Wait, are you gonna employ m i k a z u c h i 承知いたしましたオシトルさあ、貴様の手番だ No way that you just em... Did you really? Cause like... We've already had a scuffle with Maduro twice. We've only had one with Mikazuchi once. And we haven't seen them for a while yet, right? Kazuaru Yagura no Nakade, Kaname to Naru Tatsu Sagashi, Oto Saneba, Wana Tsushimo wa Koasen. Sore na Dore Hodo Konna wo Kiwameru. もとより貴様には万に一つの勝機もないんだ。キュール様が配置につきました。I kind of want to leave this till next time, right? Like, just to see how this entails, because I have a feeling that we might, we might be in for a trade. Given that Raiko is just kind of headed at it, right? Huh. You know what? Yeah. It's a. I mean, listen, without the plot as, like, unfolding, it's gonna be a cliffhanger no matter how you slice it wherever we end things off. So, with that in mind, though, folks, thank you all for watching this episode of Utsumara r o b o t o Mask of Truth, and I'll see you all next time. Ta ta! Bye! Now...